exhibit of her sister, Karen. Yes. And it's a wonderful exhibit here in the Jacksonville Center. Tell us a little about your exhibit here. Um, well, this is a, an exhibit of about a quarter of Karen's um, pieces that I've found so far. I've been searching for her work, which was sold shortly after her death back in 1972. And so I've uh, decided to display Karen's work here in, in Floyd because I thought it would go well um, with the artist community here and, and the young parents. And yeah, so. How many pieces in total? You said about a third of the work? This, this is about a quarter of the work. About a quarter of the work. Yeah, I found about 300 pieces around the country right now. Um, I started searching for her work in 1990, and uh, during a 10-year period of time, found about 300 pieces through the, through the TV and newspapers. And, um, and uh, I wrote a book about her, and the book came out in 2000, um, called The Spirit of Children. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's for sale at the show. Okay, I see some McCartney over there too. She had a wide uh, selection of people that she worked on. Uh, yeah, she was a, she was a Beatle fan, of course, and uh, loved the Beatles. So she did many sketches of them and of the children. Mm hmm. Would you say what would you say some of the more unusual people she did? Um, Sophia Loren's son, Carlo Ponti Jr. <laughs> Donovan as a baby. Uh huh. Um, um, she did one of Norman Lear. Uh, she, she just did the people of the 60s and 70s. That, that was, she was a child of the 60s, and so her work is very reflective of it. Well, I noticed she did different kinds of art, too. Is, is it all, a little sample of all of it here, or did she yeah, do other she kinds did, of things as well? She did a lot of sketching, but she also did watercolors, oils, and sculpture, and yeah. colored pencil. Yeah, I see some colored pencil colored here, pencil. too. Yeah, mm -hmm. great. Well, it's really a tribute to your sister to do this. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And, uh, I know it's a lot of work, and I know you resisted it initially um, because of well, all the work yeah, and whatever. It was, it was a daunting task to go all the way to oh, New Jersey. Oh, yeah. You know, when oh, I had gosh. the shows in New Jersey, it was easy because it was yeah. most of the work is concentrated in that area. So mm -hmm. it meant for me to go all the way up there and, and then have pieces shipped in from other places. So how much of it do you think you're located at this point? Um, I, I suspect there might be about at least 100 pieces still to be So uh, what does that put out there then? About 1,000? Um, no, I found about 300. And no, but I mean in total. You said oh, you, 300 in total. Still, yeah, about I, 400. So. It's hard for me to say. Yeah, it I is. I keep finding pieces I never knew about. Sure, sure. So. Is the rest of your family still living? Is your dad still living? No, my dad passed away in 1985. Yeah. My mom, my mom is still alive. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And my other siblings. Great. personally own and um, how many are out there and you have to take these back after the show too. Right. I own about 25 pieces myself and I borrow these pieces from their owners. Go, I go and pick them up directly from their homes and then I return them to them at their homes every time I have an exhibit. This is the fifth exhibit of Karen. Are the people fairly uh, willing to let you have them for they're the not exhibition? not only willing, they're insulted if I don't oh, have okay. pieces for the show. Well, that's good. Yeah. Oh, they're, they're, my, they're proud to my, show them. My biggest fans, my biggest cheerleaders with they're, this exhibit, with all of our exhibits. They're proud to show them off. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Uh, they're, they're thrilled about them being in the book, too. Oh, yeah. That's, that's good.